Emulsions are a cornerstone of culinary techniques. They allow you to add richness and flavour to dishes in a variety of ways. Today, I'm going to show you the secret to making easy, stable, delicious vegan emulsions, and I'll share my recipe for a beautiful vanilla mayonnaise that I use on my tasting menu. Emulsions are a really effective way to add richness and fat content to dishes, and that can be something to be particularly mindful of in plant-based cuisine. An animal protein might bring with it fat content to a dish, or dairy cream for instance is a mixture which naturally contains dairy fats. But with plant-based dishes, in some cases we might want to think about actively adding some rich elements in order to create a balanced dish or an indulgent feel for a dish. If we do find that we want to add some richness or fat content to a dish, then emulsions are an easy and versatile way to do this, either by adding them as flavorful elements in themselves or by cooking or storing ingredients in plant-based emulsions. Of course, there are other techniques we could use to add richness, confying ingredients in oil or using fresh or fermented nuts, but emulsions are particularly useful and a really fundamental technique. So today I want to focus on those and in particular mayonnaise as one of the most commonplace emulsions. But first we'll have a super quick look at the what and why of emulsions because the more you understand how you're cooking, the better your food is going to taste. An emulsion is a stable mixture of two liquids which would normally separate. In cooking, this is usually a water-based product and a fat. For a really simple example of this, we can blend together water and oil. And you can see that if we don't do anything else to this, they naturally separate. So in order to form a stable mixture, we need to add an emulsifier. Many classic French emulsion sources use egg yolks as an emulsifier to stabilize the mixture of fat and water. The main reason for this is because egg yolks contain lecithin, which is a natural emulsifier. To make vegan emulsions without the use of egg yolks, we either need to find another source of lecithin or use a different emulsifier. And the easiest thing to do is use a little soy milk. It's another natural source of lecithin and it easily forms stable emulsions. To show you how simple and effective using soy milk is, I'm gonna to blend together a 50-50 mix of soy milk and oil and you'll see it quickly forms a stable emulsion. Now that incredibly simple emulsion can be used in sauces, to cook in, as a replacement for cream. You can vary the amount of fat and you can add in other flavours. It's extremely adaptable. It can be savoury or sweet, rich or delicate. Now I'm going to share my recipe for a vanilla mayonnaise that I use as part of a one bite cured mushroom dish on my tasting menu. It adds richness and beautiful vanilla aromatics to the dish, as well as a balance of salt and acidity. It might sound a little bit unusual, but when you taste it, it makes perfect sense. To make the mayonnaise, we start off with soy milk, and then I add a little bit of lemon juice to this. Then we're adding just a touch of Dijon mustard, and a little bit of garlic. Then I add vanilla seeds, followed by just a pinch of xanthan gum. This just helps to thicken the mayonnaise a tiny bit and helps it to remain really, really stable. These get blended together and that forms the base of the mayonnaise. Then we're emulsifying in the oil gradually and you'll see the mayonnaise start to thicken and become really rich. Final little bit of seasoning to taste. And that's our finished plant-based vanilla mayonnaise. It's really versatile, it's really delicious, it's a great way to add richness to dishes, and it's just that slightly bit unusual with the vanilla flavor, but it works so well. Here I'm plating up my cured mushroom dish, which is such a popular dish on the tasting menu and has become something of a signature dish for me, really. It uses flavors very similar to charcuterie through the ways that I treat the mushrooms in a, a number of different ways. And that's quite an unusual set of flavors and textures to have in plant-based food. It's something that takes a lot of work and I'll do a separate video on another time, but it's a really great dish. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a like and hit subscribe. And today's recipe will be in the description, but it also goes out to my Patreon supporters as a PDF, along with a bunch of other benefits. So if you're interested in seeing more stuff from me, check out my Patreon page. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.